Welcome to Midwest Rockin', where today we're going to explore some of the awesome rocks that I found out in South Dakota. These are all going to be silica-based minerals, so like agates and jaspers, petrified wood are all silica-based minerals. And we're just going to be cutting them open, exploring to see what is on the inside of these beautiful South Dakotan rocks. Let's jump into it. So at first, we're going to be cutting this clear chalcedony that I found out in South Dakota, out in the western part of South Dakota surrounding the Badlands. This stuff is really, really common out there, but it's hiding a lot of beautiful white wispy patterns on the inside. And you can see these really cool stalactites almost forming in that pocket in this rock. So inside there might be more pockets, more geode-like activity, and definitely some white wispy bands like you see there. So yeah, let's cut it open. Let's take a peek and see what's on the inside of that first rock that we cut. Oh wow, it's very, very mossy. And like I said, those white, wispy, mossy patterns come through a lot. Let's check out the other side. Oh wow, yeah, there's a bunch of these bands right here in that clear chalcedony. There's some white wispy bands, some bubbly eye texture in there as well. It's a really good first cut. On to the next one. Next rock we're gonna check out is a red jasper that has these brecciated white pieces throughout. I find a lot of these when I'm out hunting in different places around the Badlands. I just think they're fascinating. They've got different colors, different textures throughout. This one's got a bunch of lichen on it, but we don't mind that. Yeah, let's cut it. Let's see what's hiding on the inside. All right, and let's take a peek on the inside of that one. Oh yeah, nice white brecciated pieces in there. Different pattern variation throughout the jasper and those different layers. It's almost clear down here, these white brecciated pieces are almost behind a clear layer of chalcedony. It's fascinating. Let's check out the other side. Oh yeah, that's an awesome piece of jasper. It's really fascinating. You'll find a bunch of this stuff out in the Badlands. Awesome rock. Let's go on to the next one. Next up, we got this beautiful piece of petrified wood. A lot of this petrified wood you find out in South Dakota is almost this black, this deep, dark, almost black color. It's fascinating. On the inside, you can sometimes see some really good grain pattern in this petrified wood. Let's chop into this. Let's see what it's hiding. See if we can find some cool grain pattern on the inside of this. Oh yeah, you can see some of that grain. There's almost like a little agate pocket in that one. You see the little white banding right there in the rock? Cool, let's check out the other side. Hmm, not a whole lot of the grain pattern, but you can tell it's really solidified and it's almost a fully agatized piece of wood. Really cool. Let's move on to our last rock here. Our last rock is going to be this lace agate that I found out in western South Dakota. These ones, sometimes people mistake them for fair burns just because of their banding and people don't know fully about the lace agates that we have. But these lace agates can be just as beautiful as the fair burns. They are something else and people don't talk about them. So they're fun to cut open. Let's jump into it. Let's take a look at this one together for the first time. Oh, wow. You get that wet. Oh, 
Oh wow, very different on the inside. Not as much of that lacy texture or pattern going on, but still got a unique pattern to it and some of those little lacy bands down there by my thumb. Not exactly what I was expecting on the inside. Let's check out the other side. Kind of the same on this side. Some of that red and that yellow surrounded by the quartz, but not a whole lot of banding going on. Interesting, with these South Dakota rocks, sometimes you don't know exactly what you're gonna expect or exactly what to expect when cutting them open. Very cool. Thank you all for joining me on this rock cutting journey. Let's take a look, one last look at these finds here. That's the last one we did. This one was lacking those lace details on the inside that you could see from the outside. Here's our petrified wood with that agatized circle pocket in the middle. Here's our jasper. Our brushiated jasper that I love so much from South Dakota. And lastly, here is that clear calcetiny that has so much going on, so much unique pattern. It's hard to find other stuff like this. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day.